Sorry, I'm trying to <clears throat> tighten this fucking thing up and somehow or another, I just, oh, come on, man. Hold on. Somehow or another, I um, accidentally dialed the, uh, this is fucked. How does this open up now? I dialed the um, emergency, the SOS. Fucking stupid. Oh. The tripod just fucking broke. What are you kidding me? Come on, man. Where are we at? How'd that even happen? The tripod fucking broke. Jesus Christ. Everything's garbage. Everything is fucking garbage. How did that even come out of there? Motherfucker. This is not what I anticipated. I had so much prepared, as I usually do, heading into one of these. And now here I am with... Oh, just the whole thing broke. What a piece of garbage. You know, they're, they're really good at making garbage look good. They, the people that do that, the garbage makers. The garbage makers have really fucking come a long way. But look at me, I'm still like an idiot here. I'm like, I'm going to make it work, though. I'm going to make it work. Okay. Oh, I'm making Dean noises. Oh, 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 Delray noises. Oh, um, so look, what brand is it? Yeah, let's fucking throw them. Up. Oh, God damn it. Can't, can't even just rig it so it works like now. I'm not asking for a lot out of this piece of equipment. Huh. Sorry, you guys, but, uh. You know when, when something like this happens and, you know, you can't, there's nothing you can do but fucking lock in? That's what's happening. Jesus is right. Jesus is right. I don't want to hear about it, man. I'm trying to fucking give you the best entertainment dollar for your nothing. Some poor lady... Some poor older lady fan of mine uh, got all upset the last time I did one of these. She could not understand my tone. She was like, I don't get it. You're so pleasant on the... Uh, oh, God. You know, fuck this shit. How do I just get it back to where I can use it for the one thing? All right. No? Yeah? Hi! How are you, man? Uh, I, I just don't... Look, it's this. You want to know the brand? Photo Pro. Fuck Photo Pro. What a piece of fucking garbage. Don't be fooled by the little level indicator at the top that it's some sort of piece of high-tech machinery. Now, my problem right now is uh, essentially... I feel like it should be able to work for my purposes right now, but uh, I can't even get it to fuck. Oh, wait. No. Like, what are you, serious? What am I, stupid? How complicated could this fucking be? God damn it! All right. So anyways, this lady... Oh, wait. Something's happening. No? What does this do? How many fucking knobs do you need? Oh, that's a broken leg. What's going on, you guys? I just called to see uh, what's up and uh, hope everybody's okay. Do I have this on backwards? Is that possible? Maybe. What if I put that like that? Oh, okay. Yeah. I I did a stupid. <laughs> Broke right the fuck off. Here's the screw for it, but it doesn't matter. 
because it broke out of like the plastic part broke on my Photo Pro FY583 piece of garbage. Nobody says garbage like Tom Sharpling. Though I can try. Oh, you fucking cunt. I'm allowed to say that to a broken tripod, aren't I? What kind of world do we live in? Am I still allowed to call a broken tripod a cunt? Am I? You would think. I don't care when you're grumpy, just when you're mean. Hmm. Oh, is that you? Are you the one who wrote the email? The Jekyll and Hyde email? I think it was a nice lady. All right. I think, okay. I think we're going to get something going here. This hasn't been bad, though. I'm not Jekyll and Hyde. And, yeah, I can be mean. But, you see, here's the deal with this particular medium. Oh. All right. The cunt seems to be working. Here we go. So. Oh, yeah, it's fucking. Okay. So, um. Let's get into it. It's not Jekyll and Hyde situation. It's just that uh, on this particular medium, I have comments rolling. And if you want me to address some of them, I have to read other ones. And then I'm engaged with certain you know, you know shitty comments, whether I say it or not. I'm not having Charlie Kaufman on again. I watched the movie. I saw it because I'm going to have Tony Collette on. The movie's okay. It demands a lot. It's a demanding movie. I think there's going to be like... 15 to 18 film nerds who are going to just go crazy for it. And then I think that there's going to be about 8 million other people who are going to be like, how long is this? I don't understand what's happening. And then when it ends, people are going to be like, what happened? Was that, what was it real? Was it a dream? Was it the guy in the thing? God damn it. That's three hours. And I don't know what happened. How's that possible? Is that genius? Does that make it genius? I just watched a two and a half, three hour long movie and I have no fucking idea what it was about. That's because it was a, an amazingly genius movie. Well, it seemed like whoever made it was committed to the vision. But I don't know. Was I not supposed to understand it? I was talking about it with Tony Collette and I, I kind of made her pay for it a little and... and uh, but I, I've been having this problem lately. I'm no rube. I'm no dum-dum. I'm no uh, anti-vaxxer. You know, I just, uh, I've gotten to a point in my life where I know stuff. I'm relatively smart. I enjoy things. Uh, I, I don't mind being confounded. But uh, but sometimes it's sort of like, all right, we, we get it. You had a lot to prove. And you're very good at it, but that's how it came off. Like... All right. I hope I hope you proved your point to somebody. You're, it was genius, but I not for me. Um. So, oh, which movie am I talking about? The um, that new Charlie Kaufman movie. I can't even remember the name of it because I'm mad. Um, hold on. Does any, what's the name of it? Can someone tell me the name of it? What do I got to go look it up for? Hold on. I interviewed, um, uh, Winter Marsalis today. Uh, and it was very good. Um, hold on. Hold on, you guys. I'm fucking... You know what I mean? It's not all about you. I have work to do. You guys, either you want to hang out with me while I work or you don't. Uh, go to the... Uh... Shit is not shift. Um... 
I'm thinking of ending things. Thank you, Mindy Bond, if that's your real name. Like, you know, I go out of my way to address people and then it's sort of ridiculous, you know, because then people are like, oh, he called me by my dumb screen name. Getting back to addressing the Jekyll and Hyde comment. I'm allowed to have like, this is, this is, here's what happens, man. Here's what fucking happens. Guitar time? Is it guitar time? Don't you guys want to hear me play the same shit I always play? Look. Oh, uh, I am a cat. I am an island. That's not how that goes. I covered the experience with De- Dennis Hopper's grave on here last time and on my podcast. So maybe reference that. Finish the older lady story. That's what I was going to do. So I feel bad because I know this woman, like I've seen her name in my inbox a lot. And, you know, she watched me and, she, and I think people are very touchy. A lot of people have been indoors a lot. A lot of people aren't contacting many people or or touching flesh, or being flesh to fleshy, or getting the kind of attention they're used to, even in a passive way, even when it's irritating and bordering on inappropriate, sometimes it's just nice to be wanted. Uh, And I don't think people are getting that on a day-to-day basis. And um, I think it's making people squirrely and crazy and, you know, probably, you know, aggressively masturbating, just like angrily masturbating at uh, weird points during the day. But um, I'm not saying that she's doing that, but I'm just saying that this is my time here. You know what I mean? It's like the podcast. I record the podcast. Brendan edits the podcast. Everything gets trimmed down. There's a context. There's ads. There's a the nice talk with the people. You know, I'm focusing on a different zone. This is my time, man. And if I'm in a fucked up place... I can move through it here. Like sometimes on the podcast, you'll hear me in, a, in, a, in, in an emotional place. But again, it's contextualized. I'm no different here than I am on the podcast. It's just here. It's like I don't have to do anything. You know, I'm, not, I'm not beholden to you. And, and, you know, Brendan doesn't have to edit this. I just have to try not to get myself into fucking trouble. So sometimes I blow off a little steam here. Maybe, maybe you know, this is not, not the thing you need to watch. For me, you know, maybe you need Mark in a different capacity. I had the I had the rainbow machine from Earthquaker, and no, it's no fun. Um, hello from Saint Augustine, Florida. Isn't that, that's like across from Tampa, right? 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 Um, so that was the thing with the email that said I was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I'm not. I'm going through a lot. I'm okay. Uh, I cried to Sam Rockwell yesterday. I don't mean to drop names. It just happened. It happens sometimes. That's when it happens. I think I'm handling the grief okay. I'm still in it. I still, uh, I I have, you know, I have it. Um, But when I'm around people, um... It comes out sometimes. Father John Misty. What's Father John Misty? Who I was talking about before, about people who think they're geniuses. <laughs> the, the tedious genius syndrome. <laughs> Easy, man. Just take it to the edge. Don't go over the edge. Just take it to the edge. You don't want to lose friends, man. You don't want to fucking say things that are going to jeopardize your future of talking to people about themselves just go to the edge don't go over the edge just take it to the edge do you know where the edge is just take it there and don't go over it all right because you don't want to be fucked fuck that man have i played acoustic guitar at all you have an acoustic in there um Tedious genius syndrome, yeah. I just coined to that. So don't fucking take it, man. Don't tweet it. It's mine. Tedious genius syndrome. I love you and Misty both, man. Yeah, I don't got any problem with Misty. I got no problem with fucking Misty. Oh my God, I'm in pain. I just don't... Look, I got no problem with Misty. I just don't... I didn't understand...
Hold on. Someone, I'm just in, I'm texting somebody that I'm here. So maybe they can get on here. All right. Um, how many people do we lose? How many people am I losing? Am I hemorrhaging people? Am I hemorrhaging people? Is the tedious genius hemorrhaging people? I do not have tedious genius syndrome. I fight against it. I fight against it. I fight against it. I talk, I'm so fucking jacked up on coffee. I think, you know what I noticed today? Um, that water makes a difference. Water makes a difference. Water makes a difference. What, what T, WTF is TGS. That's what it's called. Tedious, TGS, tedious G, genius syndrome. I like Misty's talented guy. He just lost me, uh, on the last four or five, 10 records. I feel like I liked the first record and then I was like, I don't know. Where are the hooks, man? What are we doing? What happened to the Flying Burrito Brothers vibe? Now we're in some sort of weird, meandering pop land with too many instruments and not enough, not enough. You know what I mean? Needs a little more. Why isn't this on? Oh, God, I hurt myself. I don't know how I did it. I hurt myself being old. Oh, fucking tripod. I come up with a good one last night. Photo Pro is the name of the tripod brand. That fucked me. Oh, there's the buzz of my fucking... How do I get rid of the buzz, man? call that song E. Um, uh, what? Isolate your ground? You isolate your ground. You're not the boss of me. I'm sorry. Was that mean? Was that too Jekyll-y? Mister, was that too Heidi? No buzz now. Oh, it's because I got to turn down. Isolate the ground. Okay. Okay. Does that make the ground ashamed of itself? <laughs> If I isolate it, that was terrible. Tedious genius. E's good. A's okay. I feel like I've recorded all the riffs. I've, I've gotten all the riffs out of me that I'm going to get. But I'm, ooh, I'm in a little bit of pain. Smokestack Lightning, another one? What is that? What is Smokestack Lightning? Duncan Trussell, only if he'll only only if he'll do it for six hours. I'll only interview Duncan Trussell for six hours. 
I've interviewed Duncan Trussell. <laughs> I've interviewed Thurston Moore. Sorry, I was, I was improvising some Sonic Youth style. <laughs> <laughs> I've interviewed Kim Gordon. Catch up! WTFpod.com Nate Bargetti. Go look it up. Let's not fucking play this game. You can just, the resources at your hand at the tip of your finger. It's not my fault that you've missed all these fucking interviews, but I've done them. So go back and get them. Don't ask me personally just to get me worked up with this little listing shit. There's a whole fucking internet out there and half of them are up there for nothing anyways. You don't even need Stitcher Premium. You can just look up the interview. Mark Marin interviews so-and-so and there's probably a pirated fucking YouTube version of it that you can sit there and listen to. No, I haven't interviewed Greg Dooley. Your face barely changes, but your voice can hit an abusive level. That's what's confusing. Yeah. Talk to every woman I've dated. Is it abusive, really? I mean, is it, like, you know, is it abusive, right? Was that abusive, what I was doing? I don't want to sound old, but I think I hurt my hip. Let's put on the echo. What's going on now? Oh. What the fuck? What is happening? Fuck you, man. It's the coffee. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know that, uh, I don't know what's wrong with my, I did not shit my pants. This is me with my shit when I pay. Yeah. Well, look, I just want to say... My thing is, I'm not on the spectrum. I just want to say that, like, I apologize if I have... Um, I apologize if you misunderstand my tone. <laughs> is that a... That's not a real apology, is it? Hey, look, I'm sorry if you... Uh, don't understand my tone. Is that a real apology? Oh, man. What's on the headstock of my guitar? A tuner. I, yeah, people are very sensitive, but, like, they're, it's, it's because of the amount of time they're spending, 
with people they thought they loved and now realize they have nothing in common with and kind of don't like. It's hard. And that includes children. Um, guitar tone? No. I won't apologize for that. Hi, baby wah would rule right now. Well, you're in luck, man. You're in luck. Fake shredding. Fake shredding. Okay, enough of the watch. Don't you fucking tell me what to do. <laughs> wah and echo. I have this painting that kind of, it's sort of like up around, now it just turned into Alex Bennett by the time I got to San Francisco. Alex Bennett was a sort of a morning radio personality in the San Francisco in the Bay Area who in the 80s uh, helped sort of build their comedy scene. But by the time I got there in like 1993, you know, it, you know, he had a live audience in the studio at six in the morning till till like nine or ten but it used to be quite the thing you'd have like two or three comics in there and you'd all just sit around and dick off and it used to be it used to be sort of have some reach and be kind of a powerful show to do but by the time i got to san francisco all the most of the comics had left and it was me and Patton and blaine and if you but there was enough around but no one gave a fuck about alex anymore and the live studio audience was like four people and you'd get there and like, it would just be him sort of like, you know, I feel a little queasy. Does anyone else feel queasy? I feel, I've been feeling queasy today. It's a little, I don't know if it's going around or what's happening. Like for an hour or two. Ooh, that's kind of...
I just like those three chords, man. I could just play those three chords forever. I've, and I have over and over again, many different ways. So the pain, is that what you're, what you're talking about? How old was, I was like 11 when I started playing guitar. Um, I'd like to do a Tom Waits interview. Phil Cook. I know that Phil Cook guy. Isn't he a country guy? Hmm. Everyone likes that, huh? You like the sweet sounds? Okay. B minor there, right? 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 Satriani. Nope. You're sitting in a, in a truck yard? Am I always standard tuning? I am. Um, I could fuck with other stuff, man. You know, I could fuck with some other tunings, but I don't. I can do a lot of things. I've been, I want to, I want to know how to finger pick, but I don't. I have a delay pedal. I, f I fucked around with those. I just, I'm not, I'm not switching out pedals right now. I'm just like, I keep playing the same sound. And in my mind, it's sort of like, I'm committing to a tone. You know, it's like, this is, this is my tone now. It's like, um, you know, it's like, I, I, I fucked around. I don't need any other pedals, man. Cause this is my tone. <laughs> That's where I'm at. It's a rationalization. I could be fucking around with all kinds of pedals and pretending to be all kinds of people. I could be in the fucking living room right now just laboring over a goddamn lick of someone else's. Or I could just sort of impulsively play what I like to play because it feels good to play it and not give a fuck. See, that's, that's, it's like discipline and learning versus, I just want to feel good for a second. Taking the time, having the patience versus it just, I just want to, yeah, okay, I'm done, I'm done. It's a hobby, stay chill, that's right, man, that's right. What do you mean? Use my fingers? That's the other thing I'm doing. 
the fingers. I'm working. I'm working on my fingers. Don't don't get me wrong. All right, I man. Oh, this Trump guy's got a fucking enough. Wow, wow, that was unprofessional. Unprofessional. Oof. Okay. Um, Buster's in the house. What was I talking about? Would I ever play bass? I don't know. I guess. I, I, I got, you like my ring? Thank you. I just put it back on. I, I was going ringless for a long time because I did not um, see any point to wearing them because I wasn't going anywhere. What about Trump? I think he just told the voters in North Carolina to try to vote twice to see if they could fraud. God, isn't everyone exhausted by him? You don't just, just start to think about the people that aren't fucking exhausted and you know, just kind of stressed out by him. Even if they kind of like him, they're just sort of like, hey man, look, I like you, dude, but you know, and you made me feel good because, you know, I, I'm angry too. And I, you know, I like to hate people that I don't understand, but I'm just tired of it. I'm a little tired of it. We need to take a break. Could you just be a TV personality? Can, maybe just be a TV personality. figure it out, man. I gotta get something out here. <laughs> no. Some Skinner snuck in. Cutting the rug. I got a place called the Jug with a girl named Linda Lou. She was a man with a gun in his hand and he was looking He said, Hey there, fella, with your head colored yellow. What you trying to prove? Well, that's my woman there, and I'm a man who cares, and this might be all for you. I said, don't be scared, don't be scared, don't be scared, don't be scared. Give me three steps, give me three steps, mister, and you'll never see me no more. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Guitar only, please. That is not nice. What you trying to prove? Uh, ain't no need to worry. How's that one go? It's like, um, no, that's a Skinner song. Yeah, Ooh Baby, I Love You. What's my favorite Philip Roth song? <laughs> Port Noise Blues. Um, yeah, I had a good time in New Mexico. Yes, I am sober. Thank you for on the tone. Started band with Bill Bird. It's been suggested. We've played together, but no one's doing nothing with nobody right now. Uh, my voice is kind of Costello-y. Well, that's very nice. I think it's sort of uh, lispy. 
Chelsea Peretti is a delight, a lover. Yes, I've always loved her. We go way back. Not way back, but back far enough. She was a youngster uh, when I met her. That's your favorite Skinner song? That is a good Skinner song. Oh, yeah, that All Trails app for hiking is great. It'd be, it'd be tits if I came out with an album of covers on Bandcamp. I should do that, man. There's a couple of covers I always think about. Really old songs, my dad's songs, and also maybe some Velvet Underground songs, and also... Um, maybe some blues songs. But see, anybody, you know the fucking thing? Is Bill Burr a good drummer? He's gotten a lot better. Diplomatic answer, diplomatic answer, diplomatic answer. Um, like, what would I cover? I always think about covering shit. What's my favorite Vel Velvet Underground sound? Live in 69, bro. Live in 69. Can I play Sweet Jane? Yeah, just tell me the chords. <laughs> See, I should know that. I should just, I'm gonna learn some songs. I'm gonna learn some songs. I was listening to Slim Harpo the other day. Stop teasing me, baby. <laughs> I'm a king bee <laughs> Buzzing around your get the new Tom Petty Wildflowers reissue? No. For me, the, playing music on stage is more stressful than comedy, a lot more, because I'm so, I'm so insecure about it. Um, favorite episode of Glow? I'll think about it. I don't know what the most ridiculous face I can make. I have a Fender amp, not a Marshall amp. I do know that I my mouth is open too much. Jimmy Reed, sure. If you leave me, baby, say you won't be back. It would be the end of me. Cause I will have Heart attack, you better get some insurance. Cause if you ever ever say you're gonna howl right off and die. It's a great line in that song. You don't know me, baby, like I know myself. I couldn't live if you should give all your love to someone else. That is a that's a, that's a sad dude right there, man. Because they're all going to go. They're all going to go. You people that are locked down, locked in, in for the long haul, holding on to each other, God bless. Good luck. 
start to forget about the compromises, I guess, after a certain amount of time. Because what are you going to do? My back hurts. My favorite Altman film. I think McCabe and Mrs. Miller, of course. McCabe and Mrs. Miller, without question. McCabe and Mrs. Miller is one of my favorite films of all time. I got poetry in me. I got poetry in me, damn it. <laughs> Julie Christie, Warren Beatty, the whole Altman crew. Just dum dums rolling around in the mud. Listen to the John Lennon Plastic Ono Band album. Oh, that's great. That's great. Don't believe in Beatles. Don't believe in Kings. Don't believe in Zimmerman. Just believe in me. Kaboom, boom, boom, boom. Yoko and me. Kaboom, kaboom. Oh, Memphis, Tennessee by Chuck Berry. That's a weird beat. songs. I like Yoko. Um, okay. This is so good. We're having so much a good time. Thoughts on the New York Dolls? I like the New York Dolls. This is that sound, isn't it? Babylon! I don't like Rory Gallagher. I'm sorry. It's not I don't like him. I just don't... He doesn't connect with me. He's obviously great. My heart rate was not that bad talking to Paul McCartney. My heart rate's worse right now. Uh, I know Rory Gallagher is legit. I just don't... It doesn't do it for me. There's nothing I can do about that. Personality crisis. Uh, There's nothing, nothing I can do about that. I don't know who Bob Gruen is. I feel like I do, but I don't right now. Um... Yeah, I mean the Strokes again. I don't. I don't care. I just don't care. Is it on me to give a shit? I can pretend to give a shit until I give a shit. I've done that before. That doesn't end well. Keith, yes, Keith. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Definitely have Lady, Lady Gaga on. Care about promoting marijuana and driving? That's so funny. That fucking P- PSA got a few people all fucked up, all crazy. Hey, man, don't tell us. You know, we know how to smoke weed and drive. Go fuck yourself, man. You're just playing along with all the people that 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 think that weed is bad. Ramones, yeah, I like Ramones. That was kind of midnight rambler, yeah. I think Lenny Kravitz is kind of weird. You think Lenny... I like Lenny Kravitz, oddly. I mean, I do. Um, all right. I, I like Stephen King, but I've never read, read one fucking Stephen King book. End Times Fun is brilliant. Thank you. What did I do in college? I did everything I could do. I really did everything I could do. Lemmy, I interviewed Lemmy. Um, 
Woody Allen's not going to happen. Zoe Kravitz might happen. How do I know that name? Oh, no, I don't know who that is. Okay. Um, I got to go. Niccolo has been on my show, yes. Iggy, I love Iggy. He's been on my show as well. Mobile Fidelity Vinyl is okay, but is it as good as they say it is? I have a bunch of it and I listen to it. I'm like, I want it to be great. I think some things sound really good on the Mobile Fidelity stuff. But I think some things sound just as good on just a high-grade, old-timey vinyl or an 80-gram. You know, I know it's a big to-do, the half-speed master business, but... Uh, What's for lunch? I had a scramble of um, salmon that I cooked the other night, browned onions and eggs with some avocado on the side, and I cooked it in a bit of ghee. What's for dinner? Uh, for dinner, I am going to grill an entire red snapper from... I'd like to interview Alan Rock. That's a good idea. I'd like uh, uh, a red snapper from New Zealand, a wild red snapper from New Zealand. I'm in the process. I have to fucking record soon, you guys. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? I'm in the process of making some bone broth. The other Kirkwood brother? No. No. I don't know what dream theater is. I don't know who Adrian Linker is. Mobile Fidelity Stevie Wonder is great. I found that Mobile Fidelity um, Little Feet is pretty good. At least the first record. And then I don't care much about them. Maybe the second record. And the third. Maybe the first three records. But I don't, I don't like it when it gets into uh, uh, Oh uh, Atlanta, Hot Atlanta, or whatever. Nah. I'll take Fat Man in the Bathtub and Willing, but uh, I can stop at the Hot Atlanta song or whatever it is. I know Dream Theater. Okay. Oh, it's Prague. Mm. Were you asking me about Prague? Kim Crimson. I have all the records. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll try occasionally, and I'll, I'll do it, and I'll sit with it, and then I realize, like, I know how to come. So, do I need King Crimson? Uh, did that make sense? <laughs> John Hyatt. I don't know. Adrian Arnold. I don't know. Is this a joke? Are you guys making up names? Henry Flint? I don't know who that is. Secret Machines? Stop it! Is this real? Is this real? Kirk Kurtwood Smith? Are you guys making up names? Or am I having an aneurysm? Stephen Stills. I don't think he can hear anymore. Adam Driver doesn't do this stuff. I, I, I'd like to talk to him. You just came in it. I know how to come. <laughs> it, uh, I'm just old. That's probably true. Yeah, of course it is. I'm 50. I'm going to be 57 this month. Leonard Fax. Stop it. Stop it. Jonathan Richmond, I know. Eggplant titties. Come on, man. That's no. Rick Little. Stop it. I've had Bob Mold on. I've had John Favreau on. D. Boone's ghost. I'll take it. Um, interview myself. I'm doing that now. I do that every episode. No, this is not a new turquoise ring. I just haven't been wearing the ring. Mason bubble blower. Uh, yeah, okay. Funny. Yeah, yeah. It's not. I I tried King. King Gizzard, Colin Quinn. I've asked him. He's does. He's mad at me. He doesn't like me. I did something to upset him many years ago, and I don't think we can get beyond it. And I'm not even sure what it is, but I kind of know. Richard Hell. Yeah, I interviewed him once when I was on Air America. It's okay. I've interviewed my producer Brendan. I've interviewed Harmony Corrine. Talk about Andy Kaufman. You know, I mean, he you know he did what he did. You know, I, I'm not like a nut for Kaufman. I I, I appreciate him. Uh, you know, he is unto himself and moved something forward. He moved the fucking needle forward, whatever that means. 
in, in whatever direction he was going. There's not many of him. There are people that have uh, kind of um, tried to uh, be him. Jeff Beck, see again, I like old Jeff Beck. I like some Jeff Beck, don't like all Jeff Beck. Mike Mills, oh, maybe. It's for the TGS. <laughs> uh, what does that stand for again? Genius Syndrome? What T? I know I made it up. What's the T? I fucking have Alzheimer's. What's the T? Tedious, right? Tedious, right? I never met Philip Seymour Hoffman. Um, okay. This has been great. I didn't interview the Al Pacino. Yeah, tedious genius syndrome. Angela Davis. That's, that's out, out, out of far left field. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, I would interview Ange Angela Davis. Bob Stinson. I've had, isn't he the dead one? I had a Stinson on. But I think Bob's the one that's dead. Um, I interviewed the other Stinson. Okay. Any other Gandhi? I don't. I don't think he's available. Stable genius. I would interview uh, Jamie Foxx and Aaron Paul. I don't know why those. I you know look. I can't. I'm. I'm not. Can't work miracles. I gotta record, man. What the fuck am I gonna talk about? I did. I really thought Sylvain Sylvain. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I like him, but I, I don't know if I need to talk to him. Um, when is Glow coming out again? I don't know. We haven't even shot that fucking season, man. I don't know why John Waters hasn't happened. Hassan Minaj, Hassan Minaj. Yeah, I don't, I feel like, did I do that? I don't know. Cat Stevens, that'd be interesting, right? I listened to this new Wynton Marsalis masterpiece. It's, it's called The Ever Funky Lowdown, and it's heavy, man. It's like 50 tracks. There's a libretto to it that's pretty fucking cutting. Some serious satire from old uh, Wynton. We talked about it. I don't know when that's going up. Tomorrow's Marin will record. Yeah, that's what I got to do, the opening. Trejo I should have on, I guess, but he would just probably do his, you know, his, his AA pitch, you know. Prison, got sober. Trejo said one of the best things to me, though. You want a Trejo story? You want me to close with an actual Trejo story? What book am I reading? Well, I'm kind of trying to read through this Nate Shinen book about jazz that Winton was not happy that I brought up. I'm try I got some other ones I'm trying to read. There's a new uh, Kurt Anderson book that looks like it'll fucking hurt me. Trejo story. I've told it before, but I can tell it to you. Danny Trejo was on an episode of Marin, and I really needed him. I wanted him badly to do this. And uh, he agreed to it. And I don't know him. But the story, the Marin episode, if you've seen it, it's where... He's fresh out of the j jail. He's at a halfway house and I, and he's getting sober and he asks me to be a sponsor. Something like that happened to me in AA where a totally hardened, scary dude after a meeting I went to asked me to sponsor him. And I said yes and I could not handle it because it was too fucking scary. So, but anyways. So in this episode, Trejo, Danny, he's got a lot of lines. He's having a massive allergy issue and we're in a car. And he can't wrap his brain around the, around the lines, right? So we start making these cue cards and we, we're putting them all over the car, you know, so you can't see him in the shot, but he could reference them. And you know, he's all congested and it's just a bad day for Danny. But he's trying to fucking wrap his brain around these lines and there's a lot of lines. And um, he, uh, at one point, he just he just snaps and he's like, "There's so many lines, man. 
I mean, I haven't had this many lines in all the movies I've done in my entire career, man. And then he goes, they hire me for my face. <laughs> they hire me for my face. And that's true. But he eventually got it. He eventually got it. Um, okay. My favorite Mike Lee film. I've been watching a lot of them. I like that one. I, f I forget the name of it. But I'll look it up for you. Now that we're in procrastination mode. I have to go check my bone broth. Um, it was one with the sprawl fella that I enjoyed a lot. Uh... I watched Meantime, which was good. That's a very um, early one. This one was called Fuck Man. It's not called that. Um, is it this one? No. No. Fuck Man. Um, oh, there are more. Sorry. This is boring. This is not a good closer. Naked was okay. Let's just see if I can find this goddamn thing. Uh. I like Secrets and Lies, but that wasn't the one. I think it's this one. All or Nothing, I liked a lot. It's got a young James Corden in it. And the woman who plays Leslie Manville is fucking genius. Genius. She's in a couple of his movies, but I really liked All or Nothing. It's bleak. But I liked it. Someone said I made boner broth. <laughs> oh, you fart face. You fart face. You made boner broth? You didn't make boner broth, farty. I was talking to website last night. Ronnie Wood's a good idea. Um, it doesn't matter what we came up with. It was funny, though. I've never interviewed David Ollinger, have I? I, di I think I did. Did I? Wow. Is that where I'm at? Did I interview David Alan Greer? I must have. This is bad, you guys. I thought I was done, too. Sid Harris has been on a few times. Yeah, I did. I think I did. Roger Daltrey, I interviewed him. Roger Daltrey's about this big, but he's tough. He's a tough, small man. Okay, Klosterman's been on. Yeah, Conan's been on. Yeah. David Berman is dead. I didn't interview him. Kim Gordon's been on. David Berman I talked to for a couple hours in Nashville at a restaurant. I wish I'd interviewed it. What a fucking story. I gotta go record. Well, I hope this helped. And uh, take care of yourself. Be nice to your people. Be nice to yourself. Bob Golub. I, I interviewed Golub way back. You should listen to that. Listen to Golub. Bob Golub. Is he still around? He's got it. And nothing's gonna kill that guy. All right. We're gonna end with Golub. Talk to you later.